Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Tower Garden Talk with Shondalyn. My name is Cindy Novich, and I'm um, here just to really introduce her, but to share with you a little bit of why we all come together and talk about health and wellness, and gardening is a big piece of that. So um, I'm a mom, a health coach, and a wife, and I um, really came into this eight years ago because I was looking for my family to get more nutrition and better um, mostly for my kids who are picky eaters to get more fruits and veggies. So I just want to show you a little bit about the parent company called Juice Plus, which is also the partner of, of Tower Garden. Um, it's been around the parent company for 50 years. Juice Plus was actually um, is in its uh, almost 30 years now, but the before that it was water and air filtration and um, water purifiers and smoke detectors. So um, real quick, these are the Juice Plus products. These are the ah, fruit, veggie, and berry capsules. Um, and this orange one, sorry, are the omegas. So plant-based omegas, usually you would get them from fish, but they bypassed the fish and went straight to their source of food, which is algae. And um, so you're getting a full spectrum with the omegas, omega-3, 5, 6, 7, and 9. And in these three, you're getting... 30 different fruits, veggies, and berries that are dehydrated. They're picked at the peak of ripeness. So very nutritionally dense and the most researched product in the world. So I love that I can say that. And then we have something called the healthy starts for families. So for every adult who orders, a child can get the fruit and veggie gummies or the fruit and veggie capsules for free. So um, this program has been going on for quite a long time now. And what they found is that kids really start craving more fruits and veggies, which ours did. Um, they, they have less sick visits. They're, um, you know, my son weaned off of ADHD meds. So that mental clarity is there. It helped with my daughter's anxiety. So over time, adding good nutrition helps with everything. So, um, so that is the micronutrition I was showing you. And then here we have macro. We have this protein powder um, that you can make a shake and it can be a meal replacement or um, just a snack or pre or post workout. And we also have this in a bar. So for on the go, so um, really small product line. And then our awesome, uh, and I, I like to say our sexy product is our Tower Garden. And Shondalyn is gonna give you so much information about Tower Garden tonight. So I'm gonna turn this over to her and she'll get to share her screen. And just tell us a little bit about you, Shondalyn, and your background of being an avid gardener. Um, okay, I'll do that. My name is Shondalyn Anderson, and I'm going to pull up the slides while I'm, while I'm talking here and kind of give you my story and my background. Let me know when you all can see my screen. Got it. Okay, so we're going to talk about my story. We're going to talk about the tower garden and how the tower garden works and what and where you can grow your tower garden and the different uses of the tower garden, the benefits of growing in a tower garden, and then finally the cost of the tower garden. So I've been an avid gardener for about 30 years now. Boy, I'm getting up there in age. Um, and I've done traditional raised beds and these are my raised beds in my backyard. And my husband and I had just put the plants in and um, I, you know, I, I had a friend who kept poking me and she kept saying, I need you to look at this. And she sent me a video of the tower garden and I thought, oh, it, it was cute. It was her son's putting it together, but I didn't realize really what she was sending me. And then finally she called me and she said, you have got to look at these. I think that you would really like it. And so I looked at the corporate video and then I did a deep dive in, in YouTube and was looking at everything I could get my hands on um, that was talking about these tower garden and people's experience growing in the tower garden. And then I got on the phone with Cindy and we had a conversation and I, I wanted a discount. So I said, okay, I'm going to sign up um, as a partner and then I'm going to get these, this tower garden. Now it's better to ask for forgiveness instead of permission, I think. So 
I ordered one of these tower gardens and about the time that my husband was pulling into the driveway, the UPS guy was dropping off all these big boxes at the front door and I'm hauling them in and I take them into my sunroom and my husband walks in the house and he says, what have you bought? Totally different than sneaking a pair of shoes in the house. And so anyway, I said, just wait, you'll see. And I got it all put together and he kept passing by looking at it. And he, he finally said to me, he says, hey, what are you gonna do with that? And I said, I'm gonna put it on the back deck and I am going to grow plants in it. And we had just put in all of this stuff. So he's looking at me like I have two heads at this point. And I said, just wait, we're gonna compare how the tower garden plants grow compared to what I have out in the ground. And so, I, you know, I, I, I told him, I said, let's just see. So with the tower garden, you can grow vertically in this aeroponic growing system. Um, you can grow produce without the time and space commitment of a traditional garden. And you can grow a wide variety of produce both inside and outside. And growing in the tower garden takes up less than a three foot circumference as far as space goes. You can grow 30% more three times faster with 98% less water. Now, this is how the tower garden works. Tower Garden's state-of-the-art aeroponic vertical garden system uses both water and air to produce more colorful, better tasting, and incredibly nutritious fruits, vegetables, and herbs. Tower Garden has a 20 gallon reservoir at its base that stores the tower tonic nutrient solution. Developed by experts in plant and human nutrition, tower tonic mineral blend enables superior plant growth and better nutrition from your tower garden produce. The process begins once the seedlings have been placed in your tower garden. Here they will be nourished with tower tonic nutrient solution. Inside the reservoir is a small low wattage submersible pump the pump pushes the nutrient solution up through the tower to the top. From there, the nutrient solution drips through the central tower using a special device that evenly cascades the solution over the exposed plant roots. On the journey down the tower, the nutrient solution feeds the roots and becomes highly oxygenated as it cascades gently down the reservoir. This process is continuous, providing fresh oxygen, water, and nutrients to the roots of the plants. This patented aeroponic process enables food crops to grow faster than they would in soil, so they can be harvested more often. And it makes Tower Garden a healthier, easier, smarter way to grow your produce. So this is what my Tower Garden looks like that first summer. And I was really surprised. I mean, every day I was going out looking at it because it was just, it was like having this, this, I don't know, this magic thing sitting on the, on the back deck. I, I was shocked at how fast the plants were growing and how, how much quicker they were producing fruits even than what was planted out in the ground. And so I just, I mean, I, all summer long, I, I just decided I was going to document this process because I thought I'll take pictures each week. And then I did a video and I would give some gardening tips in that video. And as a result, I started selling these tower gardens. And my husband says to me, you started a business and we didn't even talk about it. And I told him, I said, you know what? It was never my intention to start a business. I just was so excited about what was happening in this tower garden. I was just talking about it and people started asking me, well, where do you get that? How do I get one of those? And I thought, oh, I can help you. I, 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 can, I can hook you up. Just let me know where you want it to be mailed to. And so the tower garden, it grew and I, you know, I didn't want to break it down. So I got another one and then I ended up growing two of them in, inside in the winter time. And, and I literally could grow just about most of the produce that we use on a regular basis in my house. And so I was able, I live in Virginia, so I'm able to grow well into November, sometimes through December, depending on what the climate is like. But one of the things that I liked was that the produce 
was so clean growing inside. I, there's no bugs. You just, I can literally pick it right off of the tarot right. garden and I can, and I can just drop it on the plate. And, and it's, it's amazing the taste even, but one of the things that I liked was that I could still grow peppers and I could do cherry tomatoes. And um, really one of the, the things that I try to be mindful of is not growing something that's going to grow out from underneath the lights. And so trailing things um, like melons and that kind of stuff, they do much better outside, but all of my herbs and my lettuces and kales um, and different varieties of peppers I grow inside all year round. And just a side note, my husband went to Wendy's tonight for dinner and he came home and he said, there's no lettuce on the burgers because there's a lettuce recall. So he, as the guy was telling him this at the counter in Wendy's, he, thought, he, he said, oh, that's no problem. We can just pick it off with the tower garden at home. <laughs> So I just thought that that was really interesting. And it really is, is nice to just be able to pick it and, and put it right on the plate or, or use it as we need it. I, I have a, a joke where I talk about the, those bins down in the bottom of the refrigerator. They used to be graveyards for vegetables to go to die, you know, because they would go bad before you could even use them. And now I, I very rarely have vegetables down in those bins because I'm, I'm just picking them fresh off of the tower garden. So there's two types of tower gardens. You've got the tower garden home and the tower garden flex. Um, I like to say I, I have four tower garden flexes and then I have one tower garden home. I like to say the flex is flexible. I like that one. I like the substantial base on that one. I think it's great for growing outdoors. It has a 20 gallon reservoir, which creates quite a bit of weight um, to keep it from moving around outside. Um, you can grow larger plants on it. It also has a dolly that you can set um, the tower garden on top of, as well as a support cage for your heavier um, uh, fruited uh, vegetables that need a little extra support. Um, the tower garden home, I like to say, is like the little sexy unit out of all of them. It's got the curves and it's got a 13 gallon reservoir. It also has wheels, caster wheels that are built into it. Um, and it really is designed um, to fit into a small space. Uh, the tower garden home is a two and a half foot circumference. So because you're growing vertically, you can put it in a very tight spot. Um, the light unit for growing indoors sits directly on the top and it doesn't actually expand out further than the base of the unit. Um, so it can grow, you know, and the lights can be right in line with the unit itself. So um, that's what makes it nice. The other thing is I get a lot of questions about the light kit in growing indoors. Um, they'll say, oh, I have a sunroom and I have lots of natural light coming in. Do I need to buy the lights? My answer is yes, you need to buy the lights. When you think about our windows, our windows have a UV rating on them, blocking the UV rays that are harmful to us as humans, but those are the UV rays that the plants need to thrive. And so you wanna make sure that the plants have adequate light. Um, it, the, the light wattage for the, the light kit is 125 watts, which is, is less than some light bulbs that I have in my house. So it uses less energy to produce more light than other options. It's low energy cost, it's low heat. You can touch them, they're, you know, they don't get warm at all. So it allows you to put those bulbs really close to the plants and it's designed to produce lush, compact vegetative growth. Now I normally have my lights set on um, the, everything is automated. There's a timer and the lights are on 18 hours out of the day. And um, I have no problems with, you know, with my plants. Every once in a while, you'll hear someone say, oh, my plants just aren't thriving. And I'm like, well, how long are your lights on? And their lights are on maybe 12 hours or or 14 hours. And sometimes that's just not adequate because we're trying to mimic what mother nature does outside. And so it's, it, 18 hours, it's like that sweet time for my, um, for my tower gardens. Um, tower gardens are easy to install. They're easy to maintain. 
that are less climate sensitive. I will say that first summer where, where I was comparing the two gardens, we had a really lot, um, we had a lot of water, a lot of rain that summer. And so plants don't necessarily like to be watered from the top. They wanna to be watered from the roots. And so my tomatoes suffered out in the ground garden just because I couldn't pick them up and move them. But I was able to move this tower garden around and put it under, you know, under the eaves and stuff where it wasn't getting all of the uh, weather elements um, that the ground garden was getting. There's no dirt. There's no digging. There's no weeding. It's the easiest gardening I've done um, over the last 30 years. Um, you can grow healthier produce. Produce is picked um, ripe, so it's more nutrient dense. I like to say that it's better than organic. And the reason I say that is you can grow organically, farms can grow organically, but that produce has to be, be picked long before it's ripe so that it gets to the store um, and you want to buy it. But the transport is not always organic. Um, it's transported in trucks that are covered with tarps that are chemically treated to keep the produce from ripening. And then it goes on the shelves in the grocery store. And so the, the thing about the, the tower is it's really tower to table and it tastes very different than what you get in the grocery store. Um, my daughter's a vegetarian and she came to visit and she could not wait to try a salad off the tower garden. So we went downstairs and we picked some lettuce and, and um, some tomatoes. And I made the salad up in the entire time she was talking about how good it tasted. She says, oh my gosh, I cannot believe how it tastes. And one of the things that I've noticed personally is since I've started growing my produce in the tarot garden, it even tastes different than what I grow out in the ground. Um, but I use less salad dressing on my salads now because I like the taste of the greens. I like that freshness. I want to be able to taste it. And you can't taste that when it's drowning in salad dressing. So I've had very little dressing on my salads now. But there, there are many different um, ways that people are using tower gardens. They're using them in schools for their STEM programs. Um, farms, tower garden farms are popping up all over the place. Um, personal use in homes, businesses like restaurants are using them um, for their farm to table menus and just having a little bit more control over their, um, their supply chain. Um, and there are many benefits to children and family for Tower Garden. So Tower Garden provides a means for educating children about health and nutrition. Um, it's been shown that there's increased academic performance when using the Tower Garden as a teaching tool. Um, it, children form a real connection to nature and it teaches them personal responsibility. So, you know, they're planting these plants in the classrooms and then they're taking care of them and they're making sure that they follow through all of the steps. And it really does boost their confidence and pride. And I, I have to tell you, I'm not a kid, but it boosts my confidence and pride too when I know that I can grow 90% of what we use vegetable wise in my house or on my back deck, and I can put it on the table and provide for my family that way. The tower garden makes um, gardening um, really a lot of fun. Families have time to bond um, over, you know, just growing and talking about the tower garden. Kids enjoy learning about the tower garden. Um, and they, they say that kids eat more of what they grow. So if they're growing produce, they want to eat more produce and you don't need a green thumb. Um, there are lots of people who say, oh, I have a black thumb. And I'm like, well, that's okay. You don't need to have a green thumb. You just need to be able to make sure that you've got water and minerals in that reservoir. And then you just let it go. So I did a price comparison um, about, um, I guess it's been about six months ago um, on the tower garden uh, produce and, and what it costs to grow in the tower garden. And this, this study was actually conducted um, several years ago um, by one of the Tower Garden Farms in Atlanta. And um, they just did it based off of regular produce prices. But I went to my local grocery stores. I went to four different grocery stores. And then I averaged out what organic produce costs. Um, and I, I really like the Swiss chard. My Swiss chard in my Tower Garden grows, the leaves grow so big, it will cover my entire face. Now, when you look at the Swiss chard that's in the grocery store, 
even the organic, I mean, you're looking at maybe five or six stalks in a bunch and they're not near the size of what is growing in my tarot garden. And they're about $2.99 a bunch. Well, I've had the same Swiss chard plant in my tarot garden for close to a year. And it yields about 26 bunches when you think about it. So that's about $78 of what you, you know, what you um, get value-wise from one plant. And so when you take an average of all of the produce that you could potentially grow in the tower garden, the tower garden pays for itself in about six months. It's designed to work. It's designed to last. It's made from a, a, a food grade plastic um, that, is, is very durable and fresh becomes affordable as well as convenient. So when you look at the cost of the Tower Garden, the Tower Garden home model, um, just the base unit is about $55.83 a month. Now, if you go with the lights, it's $82.91 a month. Um, the Tower Garden Flex um, model um, with the lights, if you were going to grow inside is about $87.50. When you break that down per week, it's even less. But then when you think about the cost per day and what you reap or what you yield um, in produce from that tower garden on a daily basis, it, it's less than a Starbucks cup of coffee a day to have a tower garden, which to me is, is like a no brainer because I feel like the tower garden is the gift that keeps giving. So you know, and I buy a pack of seeds. I start everything from seed and I, I can get multiple crops for, for just pennies a day. Um, and so that's my presentation on the tower garden. Thank you, Shondalyn. That was amazing. And um, just to be clear, that is, you know, paying for the tower garden is over 12 months. Correct. So you've paid it off then it's really, then you know, it's really a lot, a lot bigger savings. Yeah. It's huge. I am going to, thank you. That was amazing. I'm going to stop the recording now and then we can take some questions if anyone has them. I know Shondland, you have a few minutes, I think for that. So bear with me while I record. Thanks everybody for showing up.